recognize me, do you, Harold? You do have the advantage of me. I've been in your bed many times. <laughs> Beg your pardon? My mum used to leave me down your ass when she worked at the dog trap. You're not little Caroline? That's right. Alice's youngest. Oh, blimey. That must have been 20 years ago. You, you was only about three years old. Well, she wouldn't leave you down there now. No, no, Uncle Harold. Yeah, I'm not your uncle. I'm your cousin. Oh, that's all right then, isn't it? <laughs> what are you doing after the funeral? <laughs> a friend of mine's got a little rave up at her pad. Interested? Is your mother here? She's upstairs going through the linen cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I mean, cousins. Oh, yeah, no bother. We're well removed. At the moment. <laughs> Will you pick me up? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. What time? Oh, well, I've got to bring me mum back here for the share out. Mind you, that won't take long. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing worth having that. That porcelain figurine on a man. <laughs> Six o'clock? Yeah, fine. See you later. You want to keep away from that? Well, what's it got to do with you? That's Alice's girl. That's all right, cousins, it's all right. Yeah, but none of them is nobbies, I told you that. That makes it even better, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, we don't know. It could be any of us. <laughs> <laughs> what a bleeding family. <laughs> Up everybody, the hearse has arrived. Oh, uh, Elsie dear, could you clear these uh, glasses and bottles yes, off for the uh, Uncle George? Let me get on the move. Right. Uh, men, could you give him a quick rub over with the mansion house, please? <laughs> uh, could I have the four Paul bearers? Uh, the four godchildren, I think. That would be nice. He always yes. enjoyed the company of young people. Now uh, come on, lads. Let's have everyone nice and gentle, eh? Yeah, that's right up. Steady we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, me. All turn the same way. Now back up, back up a bit more. A bit more, and a bit more. Come on now. Come on. Back up. Look this way. Back up. Nice and easy, and don't drop him. Oh, cold chap. You was bleeding well going off without me, wasn't you? No, I can get we were not going without you. Yes, you bleeding well was. No, we were not, Ada. And this is a funeral, and we don't want any swearing. Call that bleeding swearing. Wait till I get to the cemetery. Okay, dear. Look, dear, we don't want any scenes this time. Well, if she's going, see she's got her knickers on. <laughs> you mind your own business. I've got me drawers on, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> they don't come off as often as yours. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do I mean? You had a lovely bleeding war, didn't you? All them Canadians. Don't let him get near the hole. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I saw that good as a fella. Oh, uh, I see him now. Genesis and all the Genesis and all the Genesis. <laughs>
what's happened? We've been burgled. There's nothing left. And there's nothing upstairs either. And the linen cupboard's hey, empty as well. Out the front too. Oh, oh, there's not a stick left. Here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see nothing funny to laugh at. Don't you? I think it's hysterical. They must have had a furniture van waiting around the corner. Oh, this has made my day, this has. Jerry, go and get the police. What about the will? Have they nicked that too? No, I've got the will. Oh, thank God for that. Perhaps we'll still get something then. Good help. Tell us, how much has he left? Yes, come on, help me, help me. You know it. You don't want to stay for this, dear. Come on, let's get oh, out of it. Stop him, mate. I want that 25 quid he borrowed off me. Here we are, the last will and testament of George Nightingale Steptoe. Yes. Come on. I, George Nightingale Steptoe, yes. being of sound body and mind. Cool, he must have written that in 1928. <laughs> <laughs> Do hereby make my last will and testament to the Steptoe family. Yes, yes. If everything has gone to plan, you are now standing in an empty house. <laughs> you are no doubt wondering where everything has gone. Well, I've sold it. I arranged for it to be collected whilst you were at the funeral. So that none of your greedy... <laughs> ...so-and-sos uh, could get your thieving hands on it. The money I got for it along with the rest of my estate, a manage of £1,527, yes. I divide equally between... Yes. The, the RSPCA and the Battersea Dog Zone. Uh, you will find a tray of drinks already poured out to help you get over the shock. Good luck and see you all soon. <laughs> Gentlemen, please, please, on this very solemn occasion, I would like to propose a toast. I ask you all to charge your glasses and drink to the health of George Nightingale, the only step to I ever knew with a sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't touch it after all I'd done for him. It's... No, would I? He was always a bleeding, vindictive old stinker. I don't know. Yeah. I've never been so insulted in all my life. I'm not staying in this house another minute. No. Well, nobody's going to see me at the graveside, I'm telling you. I think you do me and I looked after like a dog. When I think of all the money I wasted going down with the bus to see him. Oh, I never expected anything oh. from myself, but I thought he'd have left his granddaughter. So oh, ages of sin is dead. And we're doomed now to fall and go. Good health. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was worth coming for, that was. You're not upset, are you? No. I expected him to do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have a drink to him? Yeah. Why not? Pity to waste it. Uncle George? George. Oh, come on. Show a bit of respect. Take your help. <laughs> <laughs> Crafty old devil. <laughs> Step to the klepto. Should be worth that twenty-five pounds he had off me. Well, cheers, George. Better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>